to my nursery and welcome if you are new here. We have a lot of new subscribers to this channel. It's really taking off. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. And if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button to see more videos from me and hit that bell in the little upper right hand corner to get notified whenever I have new videos because I still have 80% of my viewers not subscribed. And it does really help my channel if you are subscribed. I can do a lot more with my channel and bring you better content with the more subscribers that I have. YouTube allows you to do more things on your channel. So I have this little baby with that said here today. Um, I did this little baby. She is the Aspen Sculpt by Bountiful Baby. She is a real born sculpt, um, which means that she was a 3D scan of a real baby and that is how they made her kit and they poured it into vinyl. So she is very realistic. She has a lot of details and she is super cute. So I really wanted to use her in a video. Um, I did do this baby myself and she is going to be available on my page for adoption. I have a lot of new subscribers asking me where to purchase babies from so you will find me at kids to cradles nursery on facebook and you can also find me on reborns.com kids to cradles nursery so that is my nursery page where i sell in both of those places but i really want to get her dressed because when i was making her and i was putting her all together i found this really cute little bow for her and i realized this bow matched the cutest little carter's outfit that i have and I really wanna use this on her. I think this would look so adorable for her. So I just wanted to see what she looks like in this cute little outfit. I also installed a magnet on this baby. Um, so she does take a pacifier and I have this cute little pink nook um, pacifier with like little butterflies on it. And I like this theme because this is like little flowers. Everything is kind of pastel with little like butterflies and stuff and it's so springy and I actually have this um, cute little onesie too this is by Gerber and it's newborn size she is a smaller newborn size she is 18 inches long and about five pounds but I have this little onesie that has little um, bunny rabbits on it and I think this is so cute for the spring and that'll match and I have this sweet little jelly cat lovey that I want to use for her just for her photos. I'm going to do a photo shoot on her. And I love this little pink soft fuzzy blanket I have with the little rainbows. I think this is going to go so cute with this set. And her little pacifier fits her little face. So sweet. So I'm excited to put her all together and get her all dressed and just see what she looks like because I haven't seen her in clothes yet. But I thought this was so cool that I found this little bow and I was like, I have the perfect outfit to match that and it'll look so cute on her. Um, I do have a little honest diaper on her. She wears newborn size. And I love these little honest diapers with the giraffes. I thought that was so sweet. I just had to use one on her. So I'm curious to see what she looks like in newborn clothes. I'm just gonna take this little um, bow off of her head and she does have painted hair you all know how I love to do the painted hair um, so most of my babies do have brown painted hair blonde or black sometimes um, they turn out kind of red when I when I practice with different colors of brown so every once in a while I'll get a red head unexpectedly but I absolutely love them as I am kind of Irish I have part Irish in me and so I do tend to love those little redheads. So, um, and sometimes the brown just kind of looks like it has redder tones in it. I don't know if you can see some red tones in her hair, but she looks so sweet with her skin color. It just looks really sweet and soft with her face. I really love the way her colors turned out. And it looks like she wears newborn just fine. She fits newborn. I was scared that she was gonna be preemie sized but she actually fits really good in newborn clothes. Um, I don't like their clothes to be too tight on them. I hate it when it looks like a baby's about to like bust out of their clothes. So this is perfect. These fit her so good. 
so I'm so excited now. <laughs> I was so worried. I actually made a belly plate for this baby, but it was a preemie sized belly plate. So I'm actually gonna use that belly plate for um, Ashley. I have the Ashley sculpt who is preemie sized. So I've moved that over to the table where I'm finishing up her paint and I'm gonna use that belly plate for her, so. Um, but this baby, she is not gonna come with a belly plate because she was just a little bit, her body was unexpectedly a little bit bigger than I thought. And so, but I'm happy because I'm glad she's um, able to fit in these cute little clothes I have. I've been saving this little outfit for someone special. And I think these colors um, will really suit her very well. By the way, I have this sweet little crocheted blanket. I have a friend named Kristen who um, loves to crochet, but she doesn't need crocheted items. <laughs> and I've tried to convince her to sell her crocheted items, but she won't. So she's just been trying to get rid of some yarn and she's been making baby blankets for me for all the babies. And um, I've been using them for photo shoots and, um, to do YouTube videos, of course, because they look beautiful. I love anything crocheted. Oh, this is so sweet. So sweet on her. This fits so good. Oh, I love it. And then she's got this cute little bow to match that fits her so perfect. Oh, that matches so good, you guys. How cute is this outfit on her? I love it when a baby comes together and just has the perfect outfit. And then this little pacifier has some of the same colors. So that's beautiful. That's gonna match so cute. Isn't she sweet? I just love the littler babies. She's so cute. Um, it's really hard as an artist to not wanna keep all of the babies. I fall in love with so many of them and I just have to convince myself to <laughs> not keep them. But I have loved so many of my recent babies and they're just so precious. It's so hard to give them up. Um, that is one of the hardest parts about being an artist, you guys. And I think she will look so sweet with this little blanket too. How cute is that? <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love watching a baby come together. It makes me so happy how precious she turned out. I just have to show her off, you guys. Oh my gosh. And besides, who doesn't want to see absolutely adorable, cute babies on this channel? That's what this channel is all about, right? So there you go. There's your beautiful baby for the day. I hope this beautiful little baby Aspen gives you your fix for the day of happiness. I know she's certainly bringing some happiness and joy into my life today. Um, so yeah, let me know. If you wanna see more babies on this channel that are up for adoption, even if it's just to look at cute babies or see their details. I love details videos on babies because you never know what all their little parts look like until somebody does a video. Um, I love this little hand. I notice a lot of kits have this little, like, I call it the ET finger. <laughs> it looks like she's pointing. Um, but yeah, I like to see details on the babies and just see how their hands are formed. Do they have an open hand? Do they have a fist? Um, you know, what do all of their little details and little parts look like? She has the cutest little ears. I don't know. Every part of her is just beautiful to me. I love her little nose and she has precious, absolutely precious little lips too. She looks like she's going to give you a kiss. Um, she turned out so sweet, you guys. So incredibly sweet. She is such a precious little baby. She just has an angel's face. <laughs> little angelic face of hers. I can't get over it. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel and thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing her little details today and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.